I was born with a genetic condition that uh, causes growth and an immune deficiency. The palms of my hands, I have some under my eye, and then the feet are definitely where the EV is the worst. I try to stay out of the public eye because I get treated weird. Sebastian going barefoot in public today is a big deal. We just pulled up to the lake. I'm looking around, there's a decent amount of people here, so I'm a little nervous. Yep, well, wish me luck, here we go. My name is Sebastian Quinn. I'm from the Pittsburgh area. I am 23 years old. I was born with epidermal dysplasia verosiformis. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Of course, I'm not a doctor, so. It's a genetic condition that uh, causes growth and an immune deficiency. Growing up with this condition became very stressful. And it got to the point where I could no longer wear tennis shoes. I could no longer go swimming for fear of the other kids being like, oh, what's wrong with your feet? Look at you, you're a monster and stuff like that. And it's stuff I still struggle with. The EV on my body, obviously, spreads across my hands, under my fingernails, if you can see that. Um, the palms of my hands, some under my eye, uh, the one on my forehead right there, and then the feet are definitely where the EV is the worst. This condition's affected my life in a lot of different ways from um, social anxieties that I've never had before. I won't go to certain restaurants, I won't go to certain gas stations. I try to stay out of the public eye because I don't like interacting with cashiers or any of the sort because of the looks I get, simply because of my hands. I get treated weird, they hand me money differently than I see them hand other people money. When the EV first started to appear, um, obviously we did not know what it was and we started seeing doctors hoping it was gonna get better. He's had a lot of times when he's been sad and depressed and we just try to keep going and it breaks my heart because I would do anything in the world to fix it. So we just keep searching for answers and people that can help us. My family's been more than supportive. They've taken me to different states to see specialists, doctors, um, they give me money to help me support myself. Without my family, I don't think I would be anywhere near where I am today. Sebastian going barefoot in public today is a big deal. It's gonna be really special that he does that and walks out in public for the first time. I'm more than ready to go to their lake and while I'm nervous, I'm pretty excited. We just pulled up to the lake. I'm looking around, there's a decent amount of people here, so I'm a little nervous. I think maybe this will give me the confidence I need though to um, be barefoot in public and maybe just get over my fear of people in general and really embrace myself. What do you think, Mom? I think this is a great idea. I think we should definitely get you out there. Yep, well, wish me luck, here we go. I'm out here for the first time in public, barefoot, no socks, no Crocs, no nothing. And um, it feels amazing. Speechless would be a good word for how I'm feeling. I don't know, it's nerve wracking and exciting all at the same time. I feel the grass under my feet, the breeze on my feet. It's just absolutely amazing. I forgot how good it felt and it feels absolutely surreal to be out in public, but I feel like I could do it more often, honestly, because it's just loving myself and I have to accept who I am before anyone else can. My future hopes are just that I can get better. I just want to live a normal, productive future.